Hey guys, this is John Callum from KHL Motorsport. Well, we're now working on project Coupe All-Wheel Drive. So right now we have the engine down for hopefully the last time uh, before complete assembly. So we're planning to uh, do uh, all the necessary maintenance items. So we decided to check on the clutch. Evo 4 clutch, well the clutch that came with the Evo 4 engine uh, it's not, we really didn't need to change it, uh, but uh, we thought it would be a good time, as any time, uh, to upgrade. But of course, we are on a little bit of a budget crunch, as usual, and um, of course, we tried to figure out uh, ways and means to uh, reduce uh, our, in our capital expenditure for this. We wanted to upgrade to the Evo 789 spec uh, clutch setup. So that requires not only the pressure plate and the clutch disc uh, from an EVO 789 but also the flywheel, the matching flywheel. So luckily we got a very very good deal for an EVO 7 flywheel, an EVO 8 flywheel actually. So the clutch of the EVO 7 uh, primarily it has a 240mm clutch disc. As compared to the EVO 7 which has a 230mm clutch disc. So this bigger disc allows more torque capacity for of course for when if and when we decide to have more power even an OEM level uh, clutch setup should handle uh, the increased torque. Um, we also got uh, a used uh, pressure plate from a guy who has upgraded his clutch setup of his EVO 5. We bought a new release bearing from Atco Auto Supply. Uh, that, that is our go-to place for uh, Mitsubishi parts uh, in Pasay. Original EVO 4, which anyway, it's the same from EVO 4 to 9, the release bearing. But the clutch, what we did was um, we heard a rumor. Sir June Magno from the Best Auto Fix um, while chatting to him, um, he told us that he was working on a Starex. He was also working on an Evo 7 at the same time. And both of them needed a clutch replacement. He took a look at the clutch disc of a Starex and a clutch disc of an Evo 7. And he found it to be exactly the same. I decided to take a, take a close look at that uh, possible lead. Uh, I bought a Hyundai Starex clutch disc, it fits well, fits well with the rest of the EVO setup. Of course, it's an organic disc, so it, it will resist slipping, uh, it may not be as grippy as these aftermarket uh, uh, kits have, but it will be cheap to change this clutch disc uh, multiple times. It fits very well, and as much as possible since we're putting uh, this 4G63 uh, EVO 4 engine in a Hyundai might as well put as much Hyundai parts as possible, right? So, yeah, and one more discovery that we found out is well, I was trying to find a center bearing. We're not using EVO 4 parts for the propeller. What we actually end up using was propeller shaft and center bearing assembly from a Mitsubishi RVR. With that said, I did not know where the heck would I find center bearing for an RVR because we never had the RVR locally. The closest we've had is the Space Wagon which is a lower spec version of the Mitsubishi Chariot. We are now going to be using a release bearing for a Starex. Um, I'm sure it's slightly different from the RVR so I think we have to modify uh, our bracket uh, in the coupe that we that we have uh, fabricated you know, with our caliper we you know the diameters the inside diameter of the center bearing is exactly the same so that that's a great uh, great great find for our project it's not not really a surprise because the Hyundai Starex is descended from uh, the Mitsubishi Space Gear and the engine of the earlier Starexes was a derivative of the Mitsubishi 4D56. Um, the spline count of Mitsubishi clutches are more or less the same. Uh, 
across different different platforms. Lucky fact that that really shows how yun the how yun days are sort of uh, genetically related to Mitsubishi is when, but in some aspects only. In other aspects and in other engines, and especially the modern Hyundai's, uh, you won't see much Mitsubishi influence in them anymore. Um, due to Hyundai having its own um, investments in technology and having its own ideas on where to go with their designs. If you guys like what you have uh, watched, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. We are uh, Kohol Garage on Facebook, KHL Motorsport on Instagram. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Keep safe. We're still in difficult times. So, take care, guys. God bless. And please watch our future videos.